Hey there, this is the Fragile from My Gaming Edge, and in this video I'm going to show you practical applications for the Crusader's Crossbow, um, for the Medic. It's a new and what I find to be a really fun weapon uh, for the Medic, which is great because the needle gun got really redundant and boring after a while. Um, it It's worth mentioning that using the needle gun on any map is not a bad idea, but using the crossbow on certain maps is a bad idea. Um, for example, I would say Granary is a pretty bad map to use the crossbow on. Um, how you can tell is um, the uh, crossbow is great on maps that are um, have like cluttered, narrow areas or at least there are parts uh, of the map where there's usually a lot of action on in a very short area. Um, for example, um, Badlands Bridge, uh, you usually find a lot of fights on there. Um, or usually just like on any point there's a lot of action. But um, Granary, for example, is a map with like a lot of turns and a lot of angles. And there are a few open areas where the crossbow could be used but um, I would personally just not use it. Uh, most of the fact that it's absolutely useless on mid. <clears throat> um, but to uh, go on about it, um, I uh, use the crossbow against complexity on cold front, um, and it did a lot of good because any time they went cliff uh, during uh, the mid fights um, I would shoot an arrow there and the cliff is obviously a very narrow space so it's all you have to do is just shoot an arrow down the cliff and if someone happens to be standing there they're almost certainly going to get hit which happened every single time someone decided to go cliff um, in fact two or three of the complexity members immediately after the game was over messaged me saying how much they hated me for hitting pretty much max damage crossbows on them every single time. Um, <clears throat> speaking of the damage, how the crossbow works is um, the shorter the distance traveled of the, cro of the, uh, of the arrow, um, the shorter the distance, the less damage it does. The, the more the distance, the more damage it does. Uh, and this is something I should remember off the top of my head, but I don't right now. I'm so sorry. I, I think like the the like the least amount of damage possible is like 35 or something like that, and the max damage possible is like 70 or 75, something like that. It's something awfully close to that. Um, and that's just the damage itself. Now, of course, you can use the crossbow to heal your teammates, um, in which case those numbers are doubled, so you can, if you hit someone, with, if you hit a teammate with your um, arrow at point-blank range, it'll heal for, I believe, 75, and at max range, it'll heal for 150. Um, this is great because, again, in areas of a map such as Badlands Bridge in the in the yard of the second point um, where there's usually two to like five people fighting on the bridge at some points you don't even have to like aim specifically all you have to do is just shoot an arrow in that general area of the fight and what is probably going to happen is you're going to hit something and it doesn't matter what you hit as long as you hit something it's a huge benefit because I've hit soldiers um I've hit like enemy or uh, allied soldiers who were at roughly 50 health, and they immediately jumped to max health in just an arrow, and that decides pretty much the fate of the fight sometimes. Um, and uh, unfortunately, I don't have any Badlands demos to show you because uh, bad, it's not Badlands Week in ESEA yet. Um, but uh, um, y usually, you stand like towards the the, the cliff, I guess, uh, or towards the choke, whenever you're about to take two. So there's not a lot for a medic to do at that point. Um, so I find it to 
I find the crossbow to be something that whenever you're not really doing something really important as a medic, if you're just standing around healing someone, not really doing anything, just shoot a crossbow and uh, it's uh, it can do a handful depending on where and when you're using it. Um, but to uh, actually get to the demo that I wanted to show you, um, there are, I believe, three or four parts where I hit um, a arrow in this, and I believe almost every single one of these in this demo were uh, max damage hits. Um, I'm currently at the 3 minute and 30 second mark. Um, of this demo, so I'm just gonna unpause right here. And we Ubered on last, and we're trying to take the point. And right now, it's not looking too great to the point where I probably need to get out. So I start backing out, and I'm just gonna pause right here. Um, pause at the three minute and 49 mark. Um, right here, I, or actually a few seconds beforehand, um, I needed to start getting out because I needed to get out alive so we didn't lose uber advantage. So even though this was a failed push, we still had some sort of um, hope at, uh, first of all, not losing the second point, And second of all, um, keeping the same advantage on, uh, on Uber so we could hopefully uh, do another push on two once we get Uber. Um, and plus, I'm at half health right now, so there's no real reason for me to stay in there. Uh, also considering pretty much all of my team is dead. Um, right here, as I'm backing up, there is um, my friendly soldier in my line of sight um, towards the point. And there's like a heavy and a medic and just a bunch of stuff in like the line of sight right there. So I figure, why not? I'll just shoot an arrow. And if it heals my teammate, then great, he's already hurt, and if I just heal him right here, you know, he's trying to run away anyway, so, um, I mean, I, I guess the only thing that would possibly suck about that is if he's trying to equalize out as quickly as possible, but I'm sure it wouldn't have mattered because, um, he could have used the health anyway, um, plus he did get out regardless, um, or I could get lucky and maybe even get a medic pick randomly because, um, all the enemies that are within this range right now would pretty much get hit by a max damage arrow. And if you are curious as to what, like what range max damage or max heal is considered, um, pretty much from the end of each train on Badlands mid, that's about the distance for max damage, give or take. Um, so... That's what I'm hoping for right here. If I miss it, there's no... It's not a big deal. Um, but right now, I'm just going to unpause. And I hear the medic get hit, and I have a hit sound. And I believe that arrow did... Uh, and unless my uh, 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 damage indicator thing uh, is deceiving. I, I, that did 74 damage. Um, so... I didn't kill the medic, but if they had any hopes of pushing at that moment, they probably had that chance slightly um, messed up a little bit because they might not want to push too fast with their medic uh, because he's he's at half health in, in their case. And I would imagine he took some sort of damage, so if anything, he's on life support right now. So they can't really do anything maybe except for push some scouts. Um, so that would have been amazing if I got the medic pick, but um, it didn't hurt at all that I hit the medic for half of his health. Um, that was really cool, but um, that just shows that there was no like detriment to that situation. Um, so... I am now going to show you the other mids to this um, to this demo that I hit a crossbow on. All right, and now uh, here I'm at the 14 minute and 30 second mark of this demo. Um, we're doing a, another mid rollout here, 
in this uh, in this demo. And I'm actually just gonna unpause here. Um, so I believe right around this moment, I heard someone was Cliff, and I see someone Cliff right here. So I just shoot um, an arrow, and it hits uh, Enigma for ma definitely max damage at that point. And um, I'm just gonna pause right here. it hits Enigma for max damage, and Enigma, I don't know, he might have taken a little bit of damage prior to that, so... Um, and plus, scouts get to mid way before the medic does, so... It's probably safe to assume when I hit Enigma with that arrow, he was probably near the scout's health of 125. He might have had a leftover buff of maybe 135. So if I hit him with a max damage arrow, which uh, is about 75, I guess then he is already completely destroyed and he he can't do anything at mid at that point. There's no reason for him to run around with such low health um, when all it would take is like one shotgun or one pretty much damage from anything will kill him. So what Enigma would have to do here is he would have to back up and get health, grab, and the only um, health nearby is the... Uh, the health on Cliff, which he might have taken prior to the arrow, um, and the health uh, in mid or um, in the little mid gate thingy, um, which is uh, another small bottle. So he would probably have about 60 health after that, um, and maybe 70 health. And then what he would probably do after that is run to his medic, um, because we already have uh, control of our side to. Um, maintain our health pack so he's pretty much running to his medic or running to the complete opposite side of mid to grab the other health pack um, so really Enigma is pretty much out of this entire mid fight right now he can't do anything without risking taking any sort of damage um, and that was extremely important and Enigma um, again uh, messaged me after the game saying he kept going Cliff and he kept forgetting that he would constantly get hit by an arrow and that's like you know that's like cool and all but um, no one really has any idea like how big of an impact that is because that's instantly a scout out of mid so let me just show you the next part alright and now um, I'm at 1753 in this demo and I'm going to show you the very next mid, actually. I'm just going to unpause right now. And again, we got another comm that someone was going cliff again. So, my soldiers are fully buffed right here. And I see something on cliff. And again, I hit that person with another max damage arrow. Okay, I'm just going to pause here. Um, it's really just listening to comms at this point because if someone says that an enemy is cliff i take a brief look at cliff after buffing my soldiers to 300 um because at that moment i really don't have anything to do unless there's a really hurt person next to me then of course i'm going to heal them um and if they really need like absolute like heals at that uh, very moment um if they need a if they're kind of hurt i'd probably still go for the arrow just because um, shooting the arrow and then switching immediately to the metagun doesn't take that long at all. Um, but yeah, it's just a really a matter of good comms right now. Just hearing something is cliff. I shoot an arrow cliff. I do max damage. That person's completely out of mid um, for potentially the whole fight or maybe 10, 5 or 10 seconds, which is very very important um, but uh, <laughs> well that was that mid um, I do it I believe one more time in this demo so let's just go to that alright now I'm at uh, 22 minutes even in this demo this is the last time I hit an arrow in this demo and it's for a good reason because um, actually after this uh, there's about a half hour remaining in this game um, after this uh, after this mid um, and that's actually 
pretty um, important to know because um, after this mid, again, I don't hit another arrow, but it's also worth mentioning that no one on complexity goes cliff after this round again. Um, well, okay, I lied. I think a soldier went cliff once, but he went cliff and immediately jumped because he knew that the arrow was going to come, so he got out of the way before um, pretty much I even was in a decent position to shoot an arrow. Um, but at, but other than that, other than that one soldier, they stopped going cliff completely. And that's almost advantage us in the sense that we know that they're not going cliff, so they're either going main or they're, they're either going far right, and that's one of two places that we can focus on and not have to worry about of the random factor of someone happening to go cliff, even though I wouldn't have minded them going cliff because they kept getting hitting, they kept getting hit by the arrow. Um, but uh, it's it's a win-win situation. I consider it. So I'm just gonna unpause here. And again, I hear another com that something is cliff. I see something. I see the demo. I hit a demo for 78. Um, so, I, I guess 75 is not the max? I don't know. It's something towards 75, 80, whatever. Um, but, uh, yeah, that is the last time they go cliff. And, um, actually, the moment I hit, uh, the moment I hit their demo with that arrow, uh, our soldier immediately pressured him and killed him the moment that happened. Um, so that was, I, I guess, just the right moment to to do, to have everything done that way. But um, yeah, uh, <laughs> let's see. Um, one of the reasons I I, I guess I'm uh, going to go over um, uh, crossbow versus needles. Um, Again, if you can hit your crossbows, they're great. But even though if you hit all your crossbows, um, it's not necessarily the best thing in the world because if someone's in your face, a crossbow is only going to do about 35 damage or so, 40 damage, whatever it is. And the reload time on the crossbow is absolutely horrendous. It is so bad. It takes forever to reload. And that is like the massive downfall to the crossbow. I would say it's the thing I absolutely hate the most about it. Um, and the needles are amazing for, um, well, when someone's in your face. Um, and secondly, when someone's chasing you, you can just angle them around corners. So pretty much no matter what, some, uh, if there's a scout chasing you, they're going to take a bunch of needles and they'll probably back off. Um, this is a, again, and it's even better if you're using the, uh, the vampire needles because, um, then if someone's chasing you or someone's in your face then they're just not going to bother with you at all. Even though personally, I w would always 99% of the time use the regular needles because the base heal rate or the base um, medic uh, regen rate is much higher, and it's um, I think it's more logical to use the base or the the stock needle gun and not the vampire one because um, you're gonna be healing and not like fighting more often than not. So it's more of a thing of what you would use more often, and that's you healing and not necessarily you fighting. The really, again, the really sucky thing about the crossbow is the reload rate um, or the reload time, whatever. Um, again, the great thing is what you can actually do is, unless the person has crit heals, if you're trying to heal a teammate, and they're right in front of you, if you just tell them to stop, because if they dodge, then sometimes you... It's it's not that difficult to miss an arrow at point blank, um, because uh, the game decides to 
have it so you you're either the right um you either have a right alignment on your, your okay let me talk correctly you you're either holding the gun right-handed or left-handed so that makes it come slightly out of the right side of the screen the left side of the screen and that completely messes everything up and it takes a long time to get used to that especially for the crossbow um so what i mean what you can do is just ask someone to stand still and you just arrow them and if you do that it's actually quicker to heal them that way um, only for that one arrow, and then after that you just finish them with the meta gun and get them all the way up. Um, but yeah, if someone just took damage and you don't have any sort of crit heals, what you can do is just arrow them at point blank and then finish the heals, because it's actually quicker if you do it that way. Um, but again, just in an area, especially like for like the fourth time, Badlands Bridge, or even Viaduct Middle, if you just shoot an arrow at a very populated area, it's going to hit something. Like, it does it so much. Um, as long as you arc it correctly, because the bow has, or the arrow has some sort of very slight arc, and it's weird. Um, but, uh, again, it's, it's not a bad idea to use needles, but it can be a bad idea to use the crossbow. So you just have to make absolutely sure that um, you're using it at the right times, especially on whatever the map is. Um, there are parts on, I would probably say every map, where the crossbow is useful at some points, and the needle gun is, is, is uh, useful. Um, I would say maybe the only time on granary that the crossbow is useful is on last, but I would just use needles anyway. Um, but honestly, if you're not sure, if you're really contemplating whether to use the needles or the crossbow, I would say just go with the needles because um, it's just a safer bet that way. And um, the crossbow, it's fun to experiment with, but you just have to be careful with it. And if you can't really hit any arrows, then you should probably just stick with needles anyway, because it's a very it's a spammy gun. I personally can't stand needles. I think the gun should be improved. At least the needles should travel faster, but that's just silliness. Um, but that's about it. Um, I am haven't really experimented with any other maps right now to, to tell it, you if... Uh, crossbow is useful in any other parts. Um, I do want to say that the crossbow would be pretty nice on Gravel Pit, but um, the, uh, a medic living on Gravel Pit is probably the most important thing on Gravel Pit um, compared to any other map. So I would probably probably just stick with the base uh, stock needle guns for the regen. Um, but that's about it. Um... If you have any questions, just leave them in the uh, comments below, um, and I'll try to answer them. Uh, also, if you have any demos that you want me to review, I would be happy to do that. In fact, I want to do a review on someone's uh, medic demo and actually make a video review on it just like this, and um, I think that would be pretty fun. So just feel free, uh, just post it, your demo in the premium uh, part of the um, MGE forum, and I can get that done for you. Um, also, if you have any other um, ideas or tips um, that you want to throw out um, for uh, the next video, like if you want to see something done, a certain map, uh, a certain, for, maybe for needles, maybe for... Any other medic tip at all, feel free to just post it. So, um, <clears throat> I believe that will do it. Um, again, this is the Fragile for my gaming edge, and I hope this video helped out a lot. I hope. And, um, yeah, I guess I'll see you later.